What up, everybody? I am see the mountains out there. I'm in beautiful Las Vegas. Well, I'm gonna take you on a walking tour of Lorenzi Park. This is one of my favorite parks in the city and there are a ton of them, a ton of parks. They got all kind of stuff. They got a senior center, recreation center. Now this is the one here, number four. We go see shows here like uh, Vegas uh, City Opera have uh, free plays here. They have a boathouse, restrooms, basketball courts, tennis courts, baseball field, gazebo, rose gardens, picnic shelters, all this stuff. But the Sammy Davis Jr. Festival Plaza, that's my jaw in there, okay? Lorenzi Park in 1926. Lorenzi Lake, the dream of pioneer David G. Lorenzi, opened as a private resort in 1926, became the Twin Lakes Lodge in the 1940s and a public park in 1966. <coughs> Excuse me. Arriving in Southern Nevada in 1911, Lorenzi began building his park on 80 acres of raw desert, two miles northwest of downtown Las Vegas in the early 1920s. The park was mostly a grassy area with a swimming hole until the commercial opening in 1926. Lorenzi built two lakes and two islands, one with a band shell and the other a clubhouse, rowboats, a dance pavilion, swimming pool, horseback riding, and picnic tables were all available for 10 cent admission fee. 10 cent, can you believe that? Las Vegans flocked to Lorenzi Lakes to enjoy music, dancing, spectacular special celebrations, and relief from the heat in Nevada's largest sanitary swimming pool. Celebrities and politicians staged events where the powerful rub shoulders with ordinary people. Californian Thomas Sharp brought the property in 1937 and improved its water supply, but let the resort run down. He later leased it to Las Vegan, Las Vegan Lloyd St. John, who renamed it Twin Lakes Lodge, restored the park, and added a motel. Throughout the 1950s, the motel building served as part of a dude ranch, a temporary home for divorce seekers required by state law to live in Nevada for at least six weeks. The city acquired the Twin Lakes Lodge property in 1966. Later combined the lakes, filled the swimming pool to create the Sammy Davis Jr. Festival Plaza, which I love, and donated the land for the Nevada State Museum and Historical Society. In 2005, some of the old motel buildings still exist at the northwest corner of the park. And there's a nice little picture there of what the lake and the park used to look like. Okay. And now this plaza, Festival Plaza, is really nice that they put together to honor Sammy Davis Jr. Because you know Sammy Davis Jr. has a street name for him. I even love the trash cans, by the way. <laughs> uh, Sammy Davis Jr. has a street name for him in Las Vegas, as does, you know, Elvis and Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, people like that, right? Now, Sammy Davis Jr.'s uh, street is where all the damn, you know, hoochie clubs and strip clubs are. Ain't that something? Why y'all put Sammy out on that? Why not Frank? Okay, I'm just walking around like this area here. I'm going to show you is where the kids can play. They got a lot of stuff for the kids out here. I'm going to just do a quick little walk around. Okay, you got nice little tunnels and stuff that's strong it ain't going nowhere they got swings man i ain't been on a swing in a long time 